today we're going to be talking about <clears throat> the vaccination schedule for children. And this is kind of hard to um, memorize, but I kind of uh, learned uh, another way from um, YouTube, so I'm going to share it with you guys. So the first vaccination is at birth. I'm just going to say B. And that is easy because it's hepatitis B. So we're just going to put a B there because that's hepatitis B. And so the next vaccination is given at two months. And we're going to remember two months by two B doctor hip. So two B doctor hip. So B as in hepatitis B right there. D is for D tap, which is diphtheria, tetanus, and acellular pertussis. We know that um, diphtheria is a respiratory disease. Um, tetanus is caused by um, puncture wounds and can cause lockjaw. And then pertussis is also a respiratory disease. R is for um, rotavirus. And that is like a diarrhea type illness in kids. H is for Hib. Hib is um, hemophilus influenza type B. And so this is just another like influenza type disease that can be deadly to children. So it's important to get them vaccinated. I is for inactive poliovirus. And so we know that polio can cause um, paralysis in some people who get it and it's important to get vaccinated against, okay. So P is for PCV, and that's pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. And that, uh, that gives you resistance against a lot of um, pneumococcal strains, which can cause like sore throats, pneumonia, sepsis, and even um, meningitis. So the next dose of vaccines is given at three months. Or is it four months? Four months. And this is the exact same as this, except they don't get hep B. So for Dr. Hip. And I'm not gonna go through it all because it, the um, letters correspond with each. Um, they're the same. So the next dose is given at six months. And this is the exact same as two, as two months. So six B doctor hip. So you can remember this um, just as the same as two. So four is the only one that doesn't have hep B. Also at six months, you start getting your flu vaccine, which is yearly for everybody above six months of age. So the next dose is given at one year, one to 1.5 years. And this is um, different than all these. So I remember this as one mad HPV. So one mad HPV. So M is MMR. That's measles, mumps, and rubella. Um, measles, as we know, causes a rash all over the body. Mumps um, is also kind of a salivary gland um, issue. And then rubella is, um, causes flu-like symptoms. But they're all dangerous to especially kids, which is why they need to get vaccinated. A is hepatitis A, caused through the fecal oral route it um, doesn't really cause chronic um, hepatitis like hep B does, but it's also um, an acute issue that you don't wanna get. So um, B, as we see in the other ones, is DTaP. H, as we see in the other ones, is Hib. P, 
as we see in the other ones, is PCV. And then V is a new one, that's varicella. And varicella is the chickenpox vaccine. So the next dose is given um, from four to six years. And um, I remember this because especially at this time of year, four to six p.m., it's very dim. So very, I mean, B is the only one we're using for that. Very dim, or you could just say V dim. So V is varicella, as we see. D is DTaP. I is a new one, no it's not, it's polio. And M is NMR. So that's what's given from four to six years. So then you go to, I'm gonna come down here, 11 to 12 years. And you can remember this, like 11 to 12 years is when um, your boy becomes a man. So, ta-da, your human becomes a man. That's the only way I can remember this. Um, I didn't come up with this actually, but if you actually study this a couple times, it's really easy to remember these. Um, so, T, is for Tdap. Notice that this is different from Dtap. It's the same um, tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, but it's um, a, a lesser amount and it's just a booster to boost your immunity against the immunity you already developed from your Tdap series. Human is HPV, human papillomavirus, as we know is a STD that can cause cervical cancer or other cancers. Um, and then man is meningococcal, which is uh, the meningitis vaccine. So that's basically it. All you need to remember after this is that from 16 to 18 years, you need a meningococcal booster. And so I just say men, and then you just remember this by getting a booster. So try to write out this table on your own and um, also try to correlate the letters because if you can remember the basic letters like this and then when it changes over here to MMR, Hepe, and Varicilla, you're going to know everything and this is pretty easy as well. Also try to memorize um, the diseases that go along like know what diphtheria causes, rotavirus, um, and all that stuff. So I hope this video helped.